Hey, Neil. Uh, so talk to me a little bit about uh, this five grand win streak you guys are on. What's clicking for you? What's, what's making it work? Well, we've played pretty consistent hockey um, for most part of the season. I, I don't think we were nearly at our best this evening and we were, we're probably fortunate to walk away with two points. I, uh, I thought Landon Bow did a great job, you know, considering he's been off almost for a calendar year between starts. Uh, and his last one would have been about uh, against Colorado as well. But, you know, it, when you're on a little bit of a streak, you know, sometimes you're, you're going to get some bounces. You're going to win some that, um, you know, you probably weren't at your best at. So we'll take that. We're going to have to uh, move on. We're going to have to adjust. To, we're going to have to be better tomorrow if we want to continue. One of those adjustments I imagine will be that the shot total, I think you guys had a season low 19 shots uh, previous was 22. You know, what, what were they doing or what were you guys not doing that, that led to that number? There's a lot of things that happen um, really in the first two zones of the rink. Um, you know, that was the telling tale for why the shots were, were the way they were. It wasn't necessarily, we were um, in the ozone holding on to it too long, making an extra pass. We weren't giving ourselves those looks. So um, we're going to have to do things cleaner on our exits. We're going to have to um, be more efficient on our, our D zone coverage and limit the amount of time we spent defending. Defending's tiring. Um, and we spent a lot of time in our D zone. So uh, like I said, we're very happy to get the points. Um, you know, sometimes that's going to happen, but we're going to have to make sure um, we're better in areas tomorrow. Uh, this club, after that second goal, I think you guys had maybe half a dozen shots between that second goal and Slaker's goal in the third. You know, how do you how do you get your team to hold on there and and continue to persevere as as Colorado's really pushing? Yeah, we weren't focusing on the shots. We were more focusing on the style and the way we were playing. Um, in, in terms of you know holding on, I. I don't think it was completely nice was slanted in the third or anything like that. I don't think we spent the entire um, period. Um, you know, we just weren't generating a whole lot. And, um, you know, besides a big mistake we made on their second goal, um, you know, it, it kind of is what it is. I thought there were moments we, we found our identity, um, but then we had a tough time uh, stringing it together for more than maybe two shifts in a row. Uh, and when that happens, you're going to see a lot of ups and downs in your play. And I think we saw that tonight. So we got to get more consistent. Um, you know, we have to get back to our identity, um, which we know how to do. Um, but we need to start doing that again tomorrow. The last one here, uh, Jake Slaker obviously had that, that goal. He's had, I think, five points in the last four games. What's he doing that's keeping him in the lineup? And what does he bring to the, to the lineup? He, he plays just with a lot of speed and pace. Um, you know, he, like a lot of our guys, he, he fought the puck at time early. But what I like, he kept his head, um, you know, for first year pro, he stayed engaged. Um, there was no panic. And um, you know, he scored a very timely goal, um, you know, again, when, you know, momentum, you know, was probably up for grabs. And if anything, we were on the wrong side of momentum. So to get that goal um, allowed us, uh, you know, to, to finish out the game with a win. Um, he, he's been on our, our six or sorry, our five V six. So he's defending when the goalie's pulled. He's done a nice job there. Um, and he's done a nice job establishing himself as a penalty killer. Patrick. Yes, our coach, uh, 11 games in, uh, about, about a third of the way through. Where, where do you kind of see the state of your team, especially with such an uneven schedule early on? Well, you know what? I, I'm looking at the identity and the style that we want to play. Um, you know, you, you can look at a lot of different uh, um, negative things about, you know, the, the way this year has been set up. We were at a long layoff, and it's been even across the board for everything. The positive for me is we had a two-week training camp. Um, you know, you don't normally get that in the American League. So yeah. we had time to uh, implement a style that we wanted to play. I think our players, for the most part, have done a very good job playing that way. We have speed. We have skill. Um, we have a tenacious forecheck. And when we tie together and, um, you know, we play the way we want to play, um, I think we're a very fun team to watch. Um, you know, obviously not so much this evening, uh, but we have some dynamic players. Um, we have a style that allows them to grow within, um, you know, that offensive mindset. And I think when we're on, I think we're a fun team to watch. And Josh Melnick, uh, big night tonight for him. Uh, he kind of had that little setback. He was on an NHL deal. Now he's on an AHL deal. Uh, how have you seen his response early on here in this season? Oh, he, he's, he's a first class uh, person. Um, you know, the contracts are contracts. It's a, it's a different year for everyone, as you know, um, in terms of the off season and what that structure looked like. So, you know, he's, a, he doesn't worry about that stuff. He's a high character guy. He was like, he, he was happy to get back to Texas one way or another. And I think his mind is in a very good place. Um, he knows the value we had uh, of him on this team. 
He's on both special teams, um, plays big minutes for us. Um, and I think he's really growing and finding his identity as a second year pro. And then last thing, uh, getting into this kind of this four game series at home, a little bit of, of a rhythm. What can that do for your club here to try and get uh, a little bit more of a sense of normalcy for the season? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we want to play games, you know, first and foremost, we want to play games. And the last time we had a homestand, um, you know, there, there was a game canceled due to a crazy weather storm, uh, another game canceled to, to protocol. Um, you know, we want to play and we want to develop. And while we do that, we want to uh, win hockey games. So um, one in the books, you know, we'll get back at it here tomorrow and then, you know, go from there. We've, we've had success on the road. We're five and one on the road. So we talked about at length this week, establishing more of our identity here at home. Um, and we have a chance um, to get going that way tomorrow. Great. Thank you.